how to expand a virtual disk in VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible module VMware underscore guest underscore disk. The full name is community.vmware.vmware underscore guest underscore disk, which means that it's part of a collection of modules to interact with VMware community supported. It manages disk related to virtual machine in given vCenter infrastructure. Parameters. The following parameters are useful in order to expand a virtual disk in VMware vSphere virtual machine using the module VMware underscore guest underscore disk. First of all, we need to establish the connection with VMware vSphere or VMware vCenter using a plethora of self-explicative parameters. Hostname, username, password, data center and validate underscore search. Once the connection is successfully established, you could specify the desired disk configuration, in this case expand a disk in a virtual machine. The mandatory parameters are only data center and unit underscore number. The data center parameter specify which data center name the virtual machine belongs to for resources allocation. The disk must be connected to a SCSI controller inside the virtual machine, so you should specify all the small details like uh, SCSI underscore controller, unit underscore number, and SCSI underscore type. This is a kind of like a physical all computer SCSI interface. Why SCSI? Because it's hot plug. You might be interested on deep dive about some performance analysis to properly adjust this parameter. You need to specify the disk size via various parameter according to the needed size, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, etc. One most important parameter is the disk mode, default to persistent mode, other option are independent underscore persistent and independent underscore not persistent. Demo time. How to expand a virtual disk in VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible. I'm going to show you how to expand a 1 GB additional disk connected to a virtual machine named MyVM using Ansible Playbook. This disk has a, is connected to SCSI controller number 1 and has using number 1 and I'm going to expand from 1 GB to 2 GB. Are you ready to have fun? Let's move it on! Welcome to my editor. First of all, let's begin our YAML document with uh, a play name VM Disk Demo that is going to be executed on host all, no, host only localhost. I would like to execute on my Ansible controller node. Let me set become false because uh, I don't need a uh, root privilege and gather facts false because I don't need a system facts for this execution. Collection to use only community.vmware. Now let's go directly to the MIDI part, the task list. Only one task name expand disk in VM, virtual machine. Uh, yes, uh, here we go. Using VMware underscore guest underscore disk module. This is the Ansible module name inside community.vmware. 
Okay, now the boring part, uh, let me specify all the connection options, so hostname, vCenter, underscore hostname. I prefer to use some variable that I defined inside the variable file that I'm using for all my VMware code. So vCenter username and password. I strongly recommend to store this variable under an Ansible Vault encrypted. But it's very nice to have only one file to include the, all the VMware specifications. So all my playbook need only to include this and you basically forgot. Also validate certs it doesn't perform the SSL certificate just in case you are using self-signed the default after installation. Okay, data center, the most important parameter, we need to have a specific data center where the virtual machine belongs to. And now let's identify the virtual machine with his name, VM underscore name. Now we can go deeply in the MIDI part with this specification. So first most important things is the size of the disk. Let me specify in gigabyte. In my case, I would like to use a variable, so just in case I need to change from uh, one gigabyte to two or more gigabyte, I need only to change one parameter. The type of uh, this type, this is uh, related to thin or thick allocation. As you wish, there are advantages and disadvantages on both. Data store is the specific data store where the disk reside. And okay, this is important too, the state must be present, so the disk must exist. Now let's identify how the disk is connected to virtual machine. First parameter is the SCSI controller, this is the ID number, in my case SCSI controller 1, but I prefer to use a variable so I can customize in the future. And the unit number, each SCSI controller can manage 15 different hard drive. So let me specify the disk number. In my case, is unit number one. What else? Oh, the technology used by this SCSI controller. SCSI type, in my case, is para virtualized, but there are different uh, types uh, that are more. Uh, compatible with uh, operating system or not, it depends uh, on your choice. This mode default is uh, persistent, but you can customize to more ephemeral data type. And basically that's it. We are able to connect to VMware and take care of uh, this specification. Oh, well, there is uh, one thing missing. Can you spot it? Yeah, exactly. I forgot to include my variable file. So let me do before the task uh, began. So let me add the pre task. In my case, include variable vars. Okay. And the file name is vars.yml. Yay. Now we are ready to go. One more thing. Maybe you would like to see this variable file. As you can see, the initial part is only some connection parameter and the second one is more specific to this size. I just change it from 1 to 2 GB. Be sure that this space exists in your data store. Welcome to my laboratory. This is my preliminary configuration of my VM virtual machine that has a 2 hard drive, first of 10 GB and the second of 1 GB. I would like to expand the second one from 1 to 2 GB. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my Ansible controller via SSH. DevOps is my username at demoexample.com. OK, I have all the files I stored under the VMware directory. As you can see, there are the variable file as well as my Ansible playbook. In this demo, I'm going to execute my VM disk expand playbook using ansible-playbook command. The execution is going to be super smooth and very fast, and behind the hood, Ansible is connecting to VMware using the appropriate Python wrapper library. 
and we got the change status, which means some operations were successfully executed on the target node. And what if we execute again the same code? Well, we are expecting a property called hidden potency, which means Ansible is going to verify if the this state is already of that size and return an OK status. And finger crossed. It does! Yay! Great job, Ansible! Now we successfully expanded our disk from 1 to 2 GB. Let's double check on the VMware side. Let's double check on the VMware infrastructure and yay! Hard disk drive is 2 GB as expected. Good job, Ansible! Now go ahead in your virtual machine operating system and expanding the file system to match the new hard disk size. Yay! Now you know how to expand a virtual disk in VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible. Thank you for watching and I hope this lesson was useful for you. Let's automate more about uh, our infrastructure with Ansible. And have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!